We had discussed yesterday the emergence of the theory of possibilities and its application. By, and we got the empirical experience. Uh, the person, the taxpayer, who deposits in the bank account will be 10 lakh rupees. After the deletion of the problem of provisions of club, in yoga shema is tied in the account or microeconomic fund account. The bank will lend this money to some borrower who will be engaged in some business professional vocation. Supposing this entrepreneur, self employed person, is taking road construction contracts, so he will be billing every month to the road construction authority. So he will spend 5 lakhs rupees in wages and other 5 lakhs rupees in overhead expenditure. So total 10 lakhs rupees will be spent in a month and he will be billing to the National Highway Authority. So by multiplication of 12 revolutions, the turnover will be 1 crore 20 lakhs rupees. Of course, to 1 crore 20 lakhs rupees, bank interest will also be added. Cost will be enhanced and net profit also. Profit margins of only 10% that will also be added. But for the sake of simplicity, we take that the turnover is 1 crore 20 lakhs. And if the revenue is 12 lakhs rupees, and in Maharashtra, uh, the profession tax will be additional revenue, income tax derived will be an additional revenue. Income tax law is a law that oversees the entire economy, activity, efficiency, and security. All aspects of the economy are by or under observation of the income tax law. We have observed that one single taxpayer's deposit in the Yoga Shema is tied in the account it results into employment of 31 workers. So if one crore taxpayers take a decision to deposit in the microeconomies of the dependent, 10 lakhs rupees each. So for each taxpayer's decision of microeconomic fund account, 31 workmen employed, so multiplied by 1 crore, 31 crore workmen shall be employed. They will get poor. And we'll be able to solve the problem of this country by providing work to our. Human resources, persons who are willing to work. We have taken the example of road construction. It could be railroad construction. In the housing sector, also there will be reform. If we delete Section 27 of the Income Tax Act, since it is related to clothing, the demand for houses will increase. We derive from this mental exercise and thought experiment an equation for new investment and additional revenue. How a new investment of 10 lakhs rupees makes additional revenue. So we derive an equation and also derive a concept of national exchequer and economic development. As Shanakya said, if you develop microeconomies, macroeconomy is the aggregate of microeconomies. So naturally you are developing macroeconomy of the country. So tax administration should be aware of that although its concern is raising revenue, but also it should be concerned with the development of the country. Hence, an ideal uh, nomenclature for the Department of Revenue or the Department of Taxes should be National Exchequer and Economic Development. This concept has emerged due to the earlier discussion. Need, N double E D, need, national, check on the own problem. Just as we have given the new name to planning commission as DT, the policies have decided. So we could give a new name to the Department of Taxes because people think it is this concern is only taxation. taxation. So we can say need, national, check on the economic development so that the officers also consider that whereas our duty is to levy taxes, charge taxes. So assessment should be reasonable 
and we, we must give consideration to the development of the country and, the, and since the assessment will be balanced assessment, there will be no exorbitant assessment and the problem probably to some extent of areas of taxes arising due to uh, heavy additions and penal interest and penalties will be reduced. We all do know but Amar Street got the Nobel Prize on the thought that investment in human resources, development of human resources, accelerates economic development. We also know that for micro loan, Yurus of Bangladesh got the Nobel Prize. Here, we are not giving micro loan, we are creating microeconomy fund, permanent fund, microeconomy permanent fund. So we are not making our citizens debtors, but we are making the owners of the fifty four and the interest they derive will be able, they will be able to utilize for their welfare, food, clothing, shelter, health, education. If we if we recast the provision under section ten thirty two relating to minor and child, it will lead to excellence in education because we should give exemption to each a student, here by minor, anybody is led to the impression that minor will be a very small child. No, before he completes the 18 years of age, he is considered as a minor. But he has grown enough to understand the implications of what is happening in the country. So if you recast that provision and give him exemption equal to other individuals, he will recognize his identity as an individual and he gets an equal status with other individuals. That is the exemption of 2.5 lakhs each child and because this section 10 clause 32 relating to my child, it will promote the development of the youth of this country and excellence in education. This income tax law is important because it oversees the entire economy. Entire economy is under the surveillance of income tax law. It is observing the activity, turnover, efficiency, profit and loss account, profitability, security by balance sheets. And this is how they come to know the state of the economy, microeconomy fund. And Deletion of section 64 of the coming, deleting section 27 where uh, house property is concerned and is clad. All these sections will lead to a change in the mind of the taxpayer and the taxpayers will become enthusiastic. All these thoughts are contained, developed by me and these thoughts are contained in the thesis. At the same time, I must mention that I had got the published the, the article on the microeconomy. I got published in the year uh, 1995 from the Financial News Weekly of Delhi, 28th August, 37th, uh, 30, 30th September. 30 September, September 3, 28th August to September 3, 1995. Its title was Human Rights Denied, Individual Economy of Women and Children in Canada. Another article was published in the Economic Times that is related to the theory of surplus option that I have developed. It was published in the year. Uh, We'll be mentioning when we come to the theory of surplus option. It was published in the year 1991 in the Economic Times, Mumbai, on Thursday, October 3, 1991, volume number 31, number 211. Here I had written on the theory of surplus option for the the reduction of black money, the ongoing process 
how the black money can be reduced, which we'll be discussing in the next lecture. I had been writing articles, columns in a weekly called Box Office for about 10 years and other papers too. So approximately uh, 10 years consistently every week I have been writing a yeah. column, Defense Nevertheless, and the various ideas that are included in the thesis we have published in the Box Office and had a positive response. The theory of surplus option and its application will solve the problem of black money. This is anticipated. So we'll discuss in the next lecture how this theory of surplus option has emerged, how I developed this theory, and what is its application, and how we can solve the problem and the calculations. Hmm. Yes, okay. Okay.